Hey everyone, in this video, I wanna show you how to edit videos right on your phone using your iPhone or your Android phone. And regardless of what kind of phone you're using, there are a ton of different apps for editing videos on your phone. And I do have videos about other ones that I'll link below as well. This one is gonna focus on one created by Adobe called Adobe Premiere Rush that you could get started with completely for free. What's great about this is this is the mobile version of Adobe Premiere the most used editing app for any platform. Okay, so I use that on my computer as a professional editor for 15 years. But with Adobe Premiere Rush, you could get started as a complete beginner and figure out how to edit a project right on your phone. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this. And there is Adobe Premiere Rush for the computer as well. So you could sync this up from your phone to the computer and jump back and forth. I have a link to Adobe Premiere Rush in the description below this video so you could download it. And if for some reason it's not compatible with your device, I did test it out on some really old Androids and it wasn't compatible, check out the other videos I have on other editing apps that I've tested out with more devices. Okay, let's go ahead and start here from scratch. I'm on just on the website that I have linked below here and I'm gonna get it for uh, the iPhone here, but you could get it for Android if you have that. So I'll just download it. Now, I've already had mine downloaded and I've already signed up, but when you download and press open for the very first time, it's going to ask you to sign in with Adobe or any other options that you see like Apple and Google as well. So I have a creator account already with Adobe, so I use that to sign in. So sign in, I'm gonna delete this project actually, so we could start completely from scratch here for editing our videos. So this is the home page. And basically you could start creating a new project from this page. If you don't see anything here, or if you already see something that's existing, just press the plus sign and you could add media to create a project. In my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new project here. And we want to bring things in from either our camera roll or gallery if you're using an Android. So I'll go ahead and bring it. If you don't have anything on your phone that you wanna bring in, there's also sample media. So they do have some clips here that you could use as an example. I'm gonna bring some in. And then you could choose more photos or videos here or keep the current selection. You most likely have to select things up front. I already have done this before. So I'm gonna keep the selection. And these are just some shots that I got with my iPhone here at the shed here in Chicago. And you could go ahead and name your project. So I'll go ahead and name the project here and press return. And you could go ahead and select any number of clips that you wanna bring into this project. So I'm gonna select all 10 here. And right here where it says sync with CC, if you have Adobe Creative Cloud, basically you could sync this up with Creative Cloud, which then allows you to edit this on the computer. The same exact project. So you could download Adobe Premiere Rush and work on this between your phone and your computer. So that's very useful. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and press create. Okay, let me give you a quick overview. Once you create any project, if you press home, it's gonna go back to the previous page and all your projects are gonna show up over here where you could always create new ones here. But I'm gonna jump back into this existing one where we are right now. And this is what you're looking at. Right on top here, this is your preview window. This is basically your edited project as is right now. And over here, this is called the timeline. This is basically all the different video clips or photos or music, whatever you have, is gonna show up in that timeline. So preview window, timeline, and these are a bunch of different tools that I'm gonna show you how to use in order of how you should use them. And then over here, it's gonna show you the length of your entire project. And this zero, zero is just where this line is right now, the beginning. If I press play, it's gonna play each video clip in the order that it laid it out. Now, most likely, let me pause that over here. You could see I'm six seconds into my entire project. That's a minute 15. Okay, so these come in handy. The very first thing I always teach with any editing program is choosing a resolution or size. So this icon right here, if you press this one, we have to decide what are we doing with this video? Do you wanna keep it 16 by nine? That's how I shot it on the iPhone. Do you wanna keep a vertical like this? Vertical videos are good for YouTube Shorts or TikTok, for example, or are you going to Facebook or Instagram and square or four by five is gonna be the right size. 
In this case, I want to go to YouTube, so 16 by 9. That's just traditional HD video or 4K video. I'm going to go ahead and choose that. That's how it was made before. But this is really awesome because this is what you need to choose if you already know what you're doing with the video. And you could always duplicate the project and you know change it for something else as well. That's the very first step. Now, the second step typically is it just put all the different clips here in random order, right? I just selected all 10 and it put it all in random order. But actually, this one needs to be first and not this clip. So to change the order of clips first, you could zoom into your timeline to see a little bit better. But anytime you tap these, these are individual clips. For me to bring the last one in the beginning, I just have to press and hold down on it and grab it and just drag it over here. Very straightforward. And now if I press play, this is how my video project starts. And then it's gonna go from this clip to this clip, right? Still doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this other clip and put it in between these two clips. So you could do that like that. Okay, so now I have this clip, then it goes to this clip, then we're on the inside of the shed right and then it goes to some jellyfish maybe i want the fish to be right after this one okay so that's the second thing you do after you change the size you basically put all your different clips in the order that you want them so that's what i did then after that sometimes clips are far too long so let's get into trimming clips so if i press play on this clip it's probably longer than i want so maybe i want to end it here what you could do, let me zoom in a little bit here with my two fingers. So to trim clips, you could grab the end, this orange part, and just bring it in. Sometimes it tries to grab the clip to change the order, but this also lets you trim it. Now this only works, see it's grabbing it now to change the order, but I wanna just trim it like this. Okay, you could trim it any way you want. But that only works for the trimming the beginning and the end, right? What about if you wanna basically cut a middle section of a clip out? How do you cut a middle section of a clip out? Well, there is a tool if you tap on a clip called split. It looks like scissors right here, the scissors icon. This will make you two different clips where you could individually, maybe I still want this clip. I'm going to take it somewhere else towards the end, right? So now I have the beginning part of it here and then the ending part of it still shows up. So splitting clips is really useful. Trimming only works in the beginning Right? You could trim the beginning and end of each clip if I could grab it. There you go. And splitting basically takes a clip, you select it, and you split it and make two clips out of it. And now I could actually delete that section too. So let's go ahead and delete it. You could duplicate it as well. There we go. So that's the bulk of your editing is basically changing the order of clips, trimming clips, splitting, and deleting unwanted part of clips. But then after that, you typically want to add effects and transitions. So let's go back to the bottom here. And by the way, there's this other icon I should show you. This basically shows you the timeline in more professional, traditional editing where there's multiple video layers, multiple audio layers. So if you're coming from a more advanced editing background, this might be something that you're used to with the regular Adobe Premiere. I'm gonna keep it like this because it's just more simple looking at it this way. Next, what I wanna do is, let's say you wanna add another clip. You could always press the plus sign and bring any number of things into it, including audio and voiceover. You could also capture with your camera on your phone anything that's new. I'm gonna leave that alone. I brought all the clips I need to bring in. And anytime you make a mistake, this arrow is an undo button right here. So that will bring back one step and you can press it multiple times. But back to effects. Let's go to the effects panel right here. And you could basically do these things called transition. So like a dissolve. Dissolve, let me show you what a dissolve does. If I press play, it goes from one clip to another clip with a dissolve, very commonly used, but there is whip pans. I could select that instead. So you could see what a whip pan does. So you could apply any one of these and whatever clip you're on, it's gonna apply it to the beginning and end of that clip, okay? So anytime you wanted to add transitions, that's how you do it. Let me go ahead and undo that transition. There we go, now it's out of there. So you have lots of different transitions. Then you also have, let me go back here. After effects, you have these colors where it changes kind of the color of your clip. So this one maybe could use one of these filters to really make it pop. So I could try, there we go, that one's nice. 
and you have more advanced options if you wanted to play with exposure shadow all kinds of stuff on the bottom here okay so i usually add transitions add a color to my whole thing then at this point let's say i was kind of done with the entire edit i usually will bring in uh text and graphics so this graphics option you could press add graphics on the bottom and there's a bunch of different ones you could choose from so if you wanted a title in the beginning you could go ahead and choose title add the title and th this could be how your video starts okay so he put it on a different track for me so i could grab it bring it in the beginning okay so then the title will play like that let me just show you what it looks like there you go and then you could type in your own text here so this is shed now i could always reduce the length of it as well so let's say i want to bring it right over here let's see what it looks like from the beginning i'll press play title comes in title goes out next clip right pretty cool so there's lots of different graphics that you could choose from and you could browse by different things like overlays look different than titles so if you want to overlay with basically lays on top of your video like this one let me just add this to show you what an overlay looks like here's an overlay i'll go ahead and move it over here and there it is so this will be what an overlay looks like on top of your video now you could also change the speed of clip so if you wanted to make a clip faster or slower you could always go ahead and do that okay so that's a speed option right here so if i wanted to speed up this to you know 150 you could see it's reducing the length of the clip but that's a very useful option you could always transform as well basically that's an option to zoom into a clip so you could change the opacity the rotation you could see what a flip does right it flips a clip and you could go ahead and scale it up and down so i could just scale it up and down if i wanted to do that and i could fill it to the screen if it was smaller so that is all the options you see we already talked about this option where it splits a clip in half this duplicates and this throws something in the garbage can and then this option right here shows you your audio track underneath so let's talk about adding audio here if i press the audio option right here i could go ahead and browse and get a bunch of music tracks here that are available again some of these are i believe part of the creative cloud which i have so i don't know if the free version is going to give me many options but if i select one of these and press add it's going to add it as a music track underneath and just like the other track actually this one you may want to use this other layout so it shows you audio and video separately but you could basically grab this and then you know trim this down as well and move it around maybe i'll bring it to the very beginning and you could tap on this as well and you could split this track and you did have other options under audio if you wanted to reduce the volume for example of any clip that you select so if you want your music to be lower if it sounds too loud go ahead and reduce that and if your video if you're talking for example you could always click and split the audio separate audio so then you could independently work with the audio in its own track that is also very very useful okay let's say we're done with our project here we have music we did all our edits and transitions and graphics this is your export export basically makes this ready to be shared somewhere else i'm going to press it right here and it says ready to export and it's going to export to my camera roll in this case again on android it's going to go to your gallery and you have quality setting it's set to automatic and resolution is 4k but you can change that if you wanted to so there are some other options i usually leave it on automatic if you don't know much about export settings it works for any platform you're going to then press export and it's going to basically take a few minutes here or a few seconds depending on the length of your video and then create that project for you and save it to your camera roll and you could share it from there now because i use adobe premiere mine's all bundled with adobe creative cloud but i believe the free version does have a limit on how many times you could export but the paid version doesn't have it so since i use it with photoshop and adobe premiere and adobe after effects it's all bundled in so it's all one price so i've actually never paid for adobe premiere rush independently but i believe you can subscribe if you want unlimited edits 
but this should give you a good start and give you some exports to see if this is what you want to keep working with now i've used 15 16 different editing apps and this one to me is the most comprehensive and easy to learn but it's also advanced enough that if you take editing further and you want to edit on your computer that creative cloud sync is super super useful because sometimes i just don't want to finish a project on my phone it's easier on my computer so i'll jump back and forth but anyway i hope you found this useful i do have a ton of other editing tutorials using mobile devices and the computer i'll put some of them below if you want to see some other applications thanks so much for watching and i will see you next time